Hi everyone, this video is talk about iWebLens. Firstly, let's talk about how this web service is created. Our server uses Flask, so that we, firstly we need to import the Flask package and then initialize the app. After we initialize it, we also need to define the ipo.root that allows the user to send the post request to our server. Because in here we can see that the user send the JSON information, so that in here we need use request JSON to get the JSON info and use JSON.loss to save this JSON information with the new dictionary. And then we need to decode the inform image information and use image.open and numpy array to get the image object. And then we need to invoke this do prediction method. This method is, is talk about how to use ULO and OpenCV to detect the image information. And we do not talk about too much detail in here. Then we will go to the e detect info information and we need to traverse it in and save this information to a new object info dictionary because we know that each image may might have many objects. So also we need to save this object to a new objects dictionary. And then we also add the image ID that was used post to the new dictionary and then return the JSON and return this JSON to the client server. And finally use the apple.run to let this Flux server work. Let's talk about how to build this iWebLens Docker container. First, we need to create a Docker image so that we need to use this Docker file to consist of all commands required to assemble and this iWebLens image. First, we use the Python 3.7 library and also install some C requirement that requires for the OpenCV and then set the working directory and add this Python file to this server folder. After that, we need to copy the requirement.txt and install some specific Python dependence. And after that, we need to set the default command for the container that will be invoked it is successfully created. After we create, finish the Docker file and the requirement TXT, we need to use this command to build the Docker image because we already created it. So we just use Docker images. To see here, in here, we can see the Docker image already created. And after that, we all need to use this command to build a Docker container. The, the default container port is 5000. And in this host, we also use 5000 port. And so that we can see here, you use Docker ps-a. In here, we can see that this iWebDance container is created. Let's talk about Kubernetes cluster and the service. We will use this command to get the node information. And the first line means that this is a master node with an internal IP. And the second line means that this is a work node and also with the internal IP. And we want to deploy the post. So let's look at the deployment YAML file. And the first line means that the API version. And the second line means that the CAN is deployment. And also the port have the name iWebLens deployment and with a label. And this line means that we want to create uh, three ports and each of them will have a template and also a containers. Because we know that the deployment cannot pull the private image so that we should push our image, private image to the Docker Hub. And let's look at this Docker Hub. This is my Docker Hub repository. And I also pre push the image to the Docker Hub so that I can use this command to pull the image in the deployment. And also they have the access, they have access to the 5000 port with the CPU limitation. And now let's talk, look at the service YAML file. And the service has the name iWebLens service and with a label. And we should match the port with the selector. And we can arrange this port with any number because they will have the different IP address. But we should ensure this target port should have the same port number with the previous port container port.
we can see the service and the deployment is running and we can also see the three posts are also running so if we want to send the post uh, post information to the server we want to uh, Let's look at this is my local computer and uh, we should use this command to send the post information to the server with this IP address. We can see here, this is my, and uh, this is my WinWare IP address and they are same. And now we want to with send this post information to the server and run it. And just wait, now we can see, we can got the image information from the server. And also we can go to the the pod each pod inform each pod logs. CTL, we will use logs for this one. And, and we can see that we, we got the log information. And we can also use to get the another pod logs with KU. We can also see that this is another post information. Let's look at the Nectar VM information and this is the external IP address. And we can see the second group with HTTP and SSH. We use the SSH into the VM machine and this is a, and the, the, use the HTTP request to go in and go out through the port with AT. And also this is a IPv6. And we can test the, this one to see that this the external IP address is work. 